All right, so basically what I've been doing is working on this design here. It's kind of a V-tail design. It's for the SCX HD. So going over to SCX HD, I've been working on some minor changes based on feedback I've been given. Um, but I've also been working on alternate ways to mount the antennas. So if you've seen these Connex antennas, they actually have two pieces in it. My understanding is it's a diversity antenna of sorts and you can remove these. These are board antennas and they have a coax cable that's wired to them that actually plugs into the VTX. So um, what a lot of guys do is they take these apart and they mount these panels in different places on the quad to protect them better. Um, some places you have better reception than others. So uh, first pass at this, I'm gonna try a V-tail. Now this doesn't really give them a lot of extra safety compared to the normal antenna because it's still in the back and it's still protruding but I just want to see if I can print this out of TPU and if it'll hold up at all and just try it out but just one one option I'm gonna try others as I go along now see I've also made a couple minor changes to the top plate uh, in particular the camera plates have a little bit of extra material in them to provide a little bit of forward uh, protection for the camera it's still limited I mean this, these types of frames are, unless you're building a tank or H quad, it's kind of hard to protect the camera completely. So we'll see how this goes. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and throw this part into my slicer, which is Simplify 3D. I'm going to uh, run the G code out of that onto an SD card and put in my printer and see how it goes from there. Hey guys, just thought I'd show off my new printer. Um, it's actually not that new, I've had it for a couple months now. Basically, I decided to upgrade to a Prusa i3 Mark II, and I had intended to do a bunch of build videos on this, kind of show the process of what it's like to get one of these, because I bought the kit, but I never got around to it. I did video a lot of stuff, I just haven't had time to edit. But I've been trying new materials on it. Finally got around to printing some TPU. Here's a cool little holder. You can see how flexible that is. And you, you pretty much you can't tear this stuff very easily. So. That's what I'm going to be printing right now, TPU. Made a couple cool little parts on there. Oops, drop that. Let's get another one. Let's see if we can focus here. Here's another one made out of clear TPU, TPU, which is what's in the machine now. And that was the part that I used on SCX240, which here's an orange one, to hold antenna tubes. So I released that to my Thingiverse page for anyone who wanted that. It kind of completes the SCX. 140. Now I'm going to print that part I just showed you in CAD for the STX HD, um, which I haven't really had a chance to fly a whole bunch. Here's the prototype right now. I've got a couple other people testing them. You can see that piece I just showed you that was orange was also like an antenna strap to keep this antenna from bending too far. But now we're going to make something to hold the antennas that's completely made out of TPU. Printer's heating up right now. It's going to start any second. These are the antennas, so they come out of that holder in the back. They have a little coax cable with a connector on it that snaps into the ETX. And so we're going to make a replacement holder for those. So here goes the printer doing its calibration. Um, the cool thing about this printer is it has like a nine point calibration. So it not only checks to see if the bed is uh, like to make a plane where the bed is, but it actually checks for flatness. So it does mesh bed leveling, which means it has quadrants where it kind of creates a, a curvy plane and it can correct for that. Apparently the uh, TPU is already stringing out of the nozzle. Alright, so it just did its mesh bed leveling. It's going to go back to the beginning. It's going to purge some TPU out the nozzle, get it primed, and then it should start printing any second now. I like to pull this little booger off as it's printing, just to kind of keep the print clean. But right now let's see what it does all right so it started printing and uh, this print's gonna take a while I think it's gonna take about two hours and 42 minutes is what it said so I'm not gonna video the whole thing maybe I'll take some progress videos but I, I even doubt that I mean it's gonna take so long to print that it probably would just be too much of a pain in the butt to keep coming up here and videoing it so I'm just gonna let it go come back to it later We'll see if the part failed. If not, you know, hopefully I'll be able to insert the antennas in it and show you how it's supposed to work. So, anyways, 
We'll be back in a moment. So I was printing the part earlier, um, and this is how it came out. I actually stopped the print. Had some issues. I don't know what happened there. It's actually nice and clean right here to a certain point here, and then it just started goobering up. And then, and this is sometimes something you run into with 3D printing, is um, a stepper motor must have skipped on one of the axes. Because you can see this whole, from this layer up, it's just shifted. It's, you know, shifted off a lot. And you can see that's just not good. So, um, I stopped the print early, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and kind of abandon this idea. Just because while I was working, uh, well, while this was printing, I was working on a whole nother approach. And I kind of had mentioned I was going to mount one kind of like as a, as a fin coming up in the back of the frame. And then have another one on top of the top plate. So I went ahead and I was designing that. And when I came up here and checked on this, it was kind of screwed up. So I stopped it and pulled it off the build plate. And then I went ahead and printed the shark fin, which seemed to have come out okay. So I'm going to pull this off of here real quick and see if the antenna inserts into it. This is going to go on the back of the frame. Let's see how hard this is to get off. Sometimes these things can be a pain. There we go. Actually, that wasn't too bad. Okay, cool. So you can see this one actually came out pretty nice compared to the other one. So, like I said, this one got all messed up somehow. A bunch of layer shift and other just crappy. Um, all I did was swap the filament because I decided I want orange. This one came out good, and you can kind of see right here where the pocket is for the antenna and let's see if it will slip in there so i've got my antenna let's go ahead and just stick this sucker in there okay so you can see it's going in i'm just gonna have to push it in and see if it goes through Like I'm going to have to open this up a little bit. Or maybe a bird or something. The antenna portion seems to be going in okay. It's just the... There we go. You can see it's going in. I'm going to have to go ahead and take a tool kind of push it in the rest of the way all right so now you can see I've got one antenna inside there got a nice little channel here I'll snap that in and then this will bolt on the back of the frame where the antenna is right now and then I'll make another mount for the other one so that's pretty cool that looks like it'll work got a little bit of flex not so much flex in that direction but we'll see how it works out. All right, so I had to scrap the first idea, which was this, and I've already kind of explained why. So next day, uh, I just been printing out these new designs I've been working on, and as you can see, I've got SCX HD here. We've got a fin on the back, which holds one Connex antenna, and we've got this holder on the top, which holds another one, and it doubles as mounting for antenna tubes. So. Just kind of show how those parts work. They're made out of TPU. Um, here's the back fin. You can see the dark part in there is the antenna, and it just kind of slips in there. Now, TPU is pretty flexible. So what I did was I designed this with a ledge on the inside right here. So basically, once you push this antenna in, it kind of snaps in, and you're not going to be able to pull it out. You're going to have to destroy the TPU to get it out. So this one's a finished one, um, one of my spare antennas. I bought a couple spare antennas for testing these things out. So I got that one in there. And then this one, um, which kind of looks like a person with two legs and two arms and without a head. But uh, this one goes on the top plate, as you were looking at before. You can see the antenna on the bottom. This one, actually, you can pull out, so that's not a problem. It just kind of slips in the bottom and sits there and then there's two little holes right here to weave your RC antenna receiver antennas through 
to go out to these tubes and you just stick basically a three millimeter tube which we'll just use blue for now um, three millimeter tube just sticks in here pretty snugly and uh, you can put your antenna wire through there so that's the first design I'm gonna try on STX HD um, hopefully it works out good um, one of the guys that's been testing for me, Navahawk, actually mounted his antenna on the top, except for he mounted his like this, and then he had the other one back here. So this should work. Um, hopefully it'll be a nice, clean setup, clean video. And uh, if it does work, then I'll release the files on Thingiverse when I release the frame. So anyways, check back for more progress on that later. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Bye.